bitch girl just hoping this was just a Halloween thing. Yeah, me too. Hey, Raps, I forgot to ask, does this, does this place have any Wi-Fi? What is a Wi-Fi? I don't know what that is. You know, it's what kids use today to post funny memes on the internet. What is a meme? You don't know what a meme is? What's a internet? What is a, what is a kid? What's a kid? So things for Chad weren't going well. He thought he'd read a good luck spell But he misread and then he fell under a curse Transported to a creepy castle Forced to watch Christian messages till the end of time Now they may be cursed but they're not the worst They're often kind of funny You can watch them first and then converse with no fraud Welcome, my misfortunate friends, to yet another episode of Cursed Commercials. This is the show where we watch and rate out of 10 how cursed each commercial is that we watch. Welcome to Romantic Depot. How can I help you guys? Yeah, we're ready to spice things up. You do know you have to know your partner's limitations. I agree. When I was younger, I used to make a lot of stupid mistakes. But I'm ready to learn more. Get informed. Help stop violence against women. Visit a Romantic Depot near you and pick up your free pamphlet. Thanks to Romantic Depot, I now know how to treat women with dignity and respect. Welcome to Romantic Depot, how can I help you guys? Yeah, we're ready to spice things up. suppose I should have a disclaimer here. I too respect women because I too shop at Romantic Depot. If it takes going and shopping at a department store to teach you how to respect women, I mean, what can I really say about that? I can't put that down. That's a good thing. I have no clue who this guy is, by the way. I'm not I'm not well versed enough in the Twitterverse to know which rapper that is. It, wait, is that one of the ones that ran for president or endorsed the president? I don't I don't remember. That's up there. That's like a six out of ten. Speaking of rappers, this is like a parody of some Kanye West music video, right? What is that even supposed to be? I don't, it's like a hot dog or something. The American in me has no idea what that is supposed to be. Some type of food consumable. Whatever it is, this commercial did not get me wanting to eat it. That's a five. Turn up the fun with Balzac. Turn up the fun with Balzac. 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 Ah, <laughs> uh, excuse me. Turn up the fun with Balzac. Turn up the fun with Balzac. Turn it up. Put the Balzac balloon in the sack. Blow it up now. Give it a whack. Did they just say give it a whack? Oh my god. This is uh this is incredible. Turn up the fun with balls at hit toy some water too. I fly real quick and now ain't that cool. Turn up the fun with balls at check it out. And here's my little buddy the ball sack brat. Ask you ball jack, so where it's at. This is Brett. Turn up the fun with balls at turn up the fun with balls at or wait, is it Balzac? This imagery right here. It's uh it's quite accurate actually to my own Balzac. See how one is See how they're not exactly the same size. So again, jokes aside, it's a ball you fill with water. So when you throw it and kick it around, it kind of has an unpredictable type of wobble to it. That's an eight. That's an eight for sure. Mm. 
What? <laughs> we got several seconds of nothing happening, and then this is what we get. Okay. Okay. All right. Motorola. Look, I can't talk now. I'm naked. <laughs> you just got like this guy playing piano, uh, kind of circus sounding like piano. In an open field with lots of animals. Uh, he has a Motorola phone. That's it. That that's it. That's all we know. That's all that's shown. That's all. That's all that was. I'll give him credit for one thing. That's gonna be hard to erase from my memory for sure. Seriously, I'm not joking about that. I hope I see something else. Well, I hope I don't see something else more cursed than that. That was pretty cursed. That's a ten. That is a ten. What the frick was that? the heck is happening? It's got some lady dancing. What was that? Scorpions fighting in the background? I can't tell you whatsoever what the frick this is supposed to be advertising in the first several seconds. What do you guys think? I think the lady uh, has lots of money and she's going to give it to the winner of the one of the two scorpions that are fighting each other. But in terms of how that's uh, advertising some type of product, I don't know. <laughs> what is this? A hot sauce commercial? Are you kidding me? Vinegaroon Whip Scorpion. Uh... <laughs> That's a nine! Dude, we got some big hitters tonight. How about this guy? Ooh, how about her? Hold on, we should tell this guy. Sir, if you're looking for a great gift, we'll be at Famous Bar. Thank you. Why is everybody staring at us? Honey, we're irresistible. Oh, yeah. Hey, why is everyone looking at us? I don't know. Maybe it's because you're sentient walking female presence. Where will all the great gifts be this holiday? <gasps> we have arrived. Famous bar. Great gifts. Great prices. Now remember, act dignified. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. That's like a three. happening 95 percent of people can't pass what does that mean 95 percent of people can't watch this without skipping the ad i'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is not a real game it's just an animation this does not look like a playable game so what this takes you to when you click on it probably a virus that's uh six Oh my god, just make it stop. What is this? This is like one of those fever dreams that I have and it just doesn't stop. It just keeps going and going. Hate that. I 
I, I'm not. I'm not editing this. This is how this commercial is. Oh my god! How long is this? <laughs> how long is this? If I was watching this on actual television, I would change the channel immediately. If not, just to wait a few seconds until this nightmare is over. Not even really a curse commercials, just extremely annoying. That was just extremely annoying. That's, I'm giving that a one out of anger. That's a one out of anger. Oh, no more bills. I don't have enough money to pay all my bills. Oh, look, it's a commercial from 2020, finally. Crest easy, the cash fairy can help. Welcome to Tennessee Quick Cash. At Tennessee Quick Cash, new customers can get up to $1,000 cash today, and the first cash advance is free. It's quick, easy, and confidential. Call Tennessee Quick Cash today at 352-CASH or apply online at TennesseeQuickCash.com. Pay your cash advance on time and get a free lotto ticket. I like this. Was this guy supposed to be like the Quick Cash Fairy? I like it. It's a very believable character. I can get behind this character. If I could specially request that the Quick Cash Fairy deliver my next stimulus check. I would love that. That's a five, but I did like that. That's a five. I'm not picking it up. You pick it up. I'm not picking it up. Well, somebody's got to pick it up. I'll pick it up. They're clean. Cause my hand is clean. Oh yeah, I'm Charmin clean. That's how I know they're clean. Charmin Ultra Strong is woven like a washcloth and just cleans better. Yeah, I'm Charmin clean. Monsieur does have a That's point. Enjoy the go with Charmin. I have a question. So, underwear on the floor, right? None of the characters, including the child, is wearing underwear. Is that a sentence I can even say on YouTube? But my point still stands. If they're not wearing underwear now, why is there underwear on the floor? Is it clean because they never wear underwear? Is that the joke? I'm not, uh, I'm not getting this. What is, this, what is this actually implying, though, with the clean underwear? Is it implying that with other kinds and other brands of toilet paper that your underwear would just be gross because other types of toilet paper don't wipe your butt as clean? Is that what this is actually implying? Because that's like kind of like a hard image uh, to put in my head and think about, just to, be, just to be honest a little bit. That's a three. It made no sense. You got this fancy and polite, calm piano music, and then this extremely poorly animated, like, violence happening with, like, a cat attacking things. This is great. What game is this for? Is this, a, is this real? Is this a real game? I'm going to take a guess at what this game is called. I'm gonna, it's going to be, it's, it's called Cat Killer 64. I bet that's it. Game of the year, IGN, 10 out of 10. Unfortunately, it wasn't a 10 out of 10 for my ratings. It's more like a two, maybe even a one. That was bad. Oi, this is your tongue talking. My mate Lippy says there's enough fizz in a single skip to make me glow in the dark. So come on, stick one on me. Okay, Lippy, blackout. <laughs> hey, fantastic. Stick a skip on your tongue. It asks for it. We can never escape these stupid episodes without seeing at least one extremely cursed computer rendered character. Somehow these always make it into these stupid episodes. You know, I just happened to pause this and uh, this tongue became very phallic all of a sudden. This commercial truly has everything. Cursed rendered characters, uh, bizarre plot, uh... Accents, 
That's a 10! That's a 10! We now have official Curse Commercials t-shirts that glow in the dark. It glows in the dark. It glows in the dark! It glows in the dark! That's right, folks. You can get this at CurseCollectibles.com. We're having a sale right now. If you use code CURSED at checkout, you'll get 15% off your order. Head on over to CurseCollectibles.com and grab yourself a Curse Commercials Glow in the Dark t-shirt. Okay, that's it. That's today's episode. Leave a like, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, maybe someday I'll get to leave this place. Earlier you said you don't know what a kid is. How do you not know what a kid is?